It's five seconds to find a clip, can she? And that is a top for you. This is an interesting position for her. Oh. Athlete <laughs> Pope Slovenia. I, I hope climbing is a little easier than walking out this thing here today. I'm sure it will be. Tripping over that rope, you can see athlete's absolute focus. There is only one thing on your mind. So even walking in front of the <laughs> climbing wall can prove somewhat treacherous. But here, I do need to highlight Yanya Gambra lost her first lead World Cup. Again, we're using this word lost. That is not the correct term. Yanya Gambra came second in her first lead. She had her first second place last week in Copper. And that removed her winning streak of first places throughout the season. And we highlighted it had an effect on her. Now she enters this World Cup final in handicap position. She needs the athletes in front of her not to top the climb in order to get first place. Yeah, because she timed out in semi-finals, so all she can do now is climb. I hope that the route is very hard, uh, hard enough that not everyone's topping it, and climb as well as she can. It's always amazing to watch her climb. She's so committed. The movements are so precise. Yeah, very, very impressive, and again, on every discipline in the sport, bouldering as well. Such an amazing climber. So, let's see, we hope to see some exciting movements up in this route and already dynamically jumping to that group. All the other athletes putting a high foot, using a bit of power to lock up. Yanya Gambra just jumping and catching it quite effortlessly. She's very confident in her own strength, you can see from that move. Very much so, and it is amazing to see. Often you see solutions unlike any other put out by Yanya Gambra in the climbs that she does. Ah, you see Yanya's solution to grabbing that hold was a little different than the other athletes. It looked like it was a burn less power. Very, very good, and she'll talk the about <laughs> her strength and ability. And she oh, she looks like she's having a good time. Hold. Just having to go out oh, and see she what she can make of these things. In quite a during those high risk situations, it is certainly a learning looks experience. Very extended. That is in. what's causing the hesitation. Now it's a pinch. Dynamic methods into that closer to toe, stacking up. Amazing the solution climbing. there from Natalia Grossman. And, and now she has secured that hold. Choose for here. And dynamically up, she had that further toe, but was able to pop up. Yeah. The Just the way she made that dynamic movement. She started it slow. Very smooth textbook movement, you could say. So I'm taking notes on how to climb confidently and efficiently because we are seeing it now. And you're going to grip on the wall. Silence in the crowd is a stunt. Attention is high. And you're now resting before. Heading out into this next section. But we haven't seen any athletes make it all the way through yet. But this is one of the favorites, and she can put on a better show if she can get further up than the next two competitors. She will secure that first place let's again. Bit, yeah. And let's see, the clock is running Very down. High extension in that right shoulder. What? Natalia will oh, want. Wow. No, she's going to have to move soon. Creeping up. Very intense Locking on the shoulders now. Oh. A lot of energy Natalia used there. Just blocking oh. that right hip. Taking a little weight off. Let's see what she does with this massive crossover. Let's see. And you're going for oh. those straight through. She just does it. Now okay. making new progress. She has found the highest hold of any athlete so far on this route. He needs to bring the feet across, and we are now in uncharted territory on this climb. Let's see what you will be choosing. Oh, Very straight on that right shoulder. 
Whoa. He will make it up through so powerful through these moves. Just nodding at, at all with the retenders who want to end there. <laughs> Nanya does not care what the retenders no. want. She is going up this climb and no one is going to stop her. One more rest. There is only one section left. And he's found a rest. She has a minute left. In that quick second to look at the clock. She's in a good position now. Let's see what can she make of this final section. Setting off now into the powerful shoulder. Foot up high, pressing in and turning the hold. Reaching right into this last couple of holds. Very good tension in the feet. Deep heel. Can't let that cut loose. Two shoulders now. And then up to the next hole, cutting on the final lip of this wall in Edinburgh. Right toe up, one more move. Can she find her way all the way up to the volume? She can, and that is a top for Yanya Gambra tonight here in Edinburgh. 20 seconds on the clock, no issues with the clip. She has that top, and she should be in front of you. We have Cheon Seo. Cheon Seo now must top the route quicker than Aimori if she wants to get gold medal position. And we can see already there is a good pace. Seo is moving smoothly. She knows for sure. She smooth. heard the last two people talk. I guarantee. So she knows that she's got the same score as Aimori in the previous round, so it will come down to time, and that is a very good advantage. Just bring that pace in from the beginning of the climb. Yeah, because the first thing she needs to do is just pop the climb and then worry about it being fast. <laughs> then worry about it being fast. This guy is also worried about how fast she's <laughs> going to be. Now into this first dynamic section. It has spat off many of the athletes before. Uh, Looks like a dynamic move. Ooh. And able to do nice. it. Quite a wide swing. We made it now. Can't say past the dynamic section. Seen as more of a static athlete. I would imagine if there was something going to throw her off, it would be a coordination piece like that. But she has made it through the next crux that has thrown off so many of our athletes before. How will Che and Seo fare? Big cross through coming up. She looks pretty good. She is quite comfortable there. Deep on the shoulder, but has the finger strength to maintain grip on that left hand hold. Roll up into the next section. Now, this is the other section. Both athletes who've made it through here have broken the method. Big swing there, not quite. But we want what method will Chayun Seo now choose? Oh, the intended beta? Checking with the foot. Will it be the intended beta? Gets yes. the first toe hook. It's not that good. Gets it again. Reeling in. Now managing to rest. Showing an amazing display of finger strength now. Now, is she also going for the two-finger match? Such high stakes here. Half of her body's held by a toe hook, but she made it work. Made it work, Jake Matseo now. Through this section, one minute and 30 left. She is in a good place if she can continue on. But hard moves now. The face is looking like it's straining. What are we going to see now? These moves are no giveaway. How will Jake Matseo make it? Is our World Cup decided? She's still going on, though. That is one of the things we love, the love of the sport. Don't know if it's been communicated. The judges are up oh. on their feet, and now she's heard. The time is out. See, I'm already moving through that section very differently than Yanya. Very, very differently. Using the locks and the static sequences. Ooh, that looks hard. Oh, my goodness. That was very difficult. That right toe, not at the angle that she can easily rock over on. No. See, testing how far she can rock, but it was not enough there. This is an issue. This is not what we want to be dealing with so far down the route. Oh. There, throwing for it, getting the hold. Potentially a little bit out of the comfort zone. Potentially. No, I'm more, again, more hesitation. Not too much though, we've seen other athletes, Jessica Pills, really taking some time to figure out 
what choices to make in here. Now I looking powerful through there, but seems to be confident, happy enough to clip from this difficult, difficult undercut with the right hand. Mm -hmm. Second guessing a lot of her initial placements of feet and hands. Is an athlete only been in seven lead World Cups so far. So not a whole lot of experience compared to Yandu Gambra, who's been in 43 lead World Cup score championships. Aimori as well, having won her first gold medal last week in Copper. Is a lot going on in your head, is a lot to deal with. Yeah, definitely. And you never know, sometimes after being quite successful at one competition, it puts some pressure on you. This is something we talk about time and time again. With Yanya Gambra, she is dealing with this pressure at untold levels, but still managing. Yeah. And here the dynamic section. I, Mori, Climber, we've Ooh. seen move more statically. There, that left hand turning Same into the undercut. Same as Natalia, more powerful. Can she reach all the way up, though? Just about getting under. It's not so good at this, but she gets far enough to bring herself up into the good part. And now, two minutes left on the clock. Mori has made it past the rest. She wants to get that first place. She's going to need to find a top tonight. Decides to take no rest there. No rest. Yeah. Maybe she is more aware of the time. Maybe she's not tired at all. Could be anything. Oh well, yeah, she's only just, she's just over halfway. So. You will oh, want, wow. maybe she's gonna have, have to move left. soon. Creeping up, very intense on Group the shoulders now. Oh. She is aware, she has some pace. Through. Oh, in order to continue up and try to get to the top of this wall tonight. I Mori now will be sacrificing that rest, will be risking having more of that pump lactic acid in the forearms. She's Let's moving a lot quicker now than she did at the beginning of the route. Very aware, but also very impressive. She is able to switch gears, move at this pace without coming off. And we just watched her make that difficult crossover that all of the athletes bar Yanya came off. Now, punching up into the next gas line. I, Mori, is looking relatively good so far. Matching on this incredible oh. two fingers. What a sight that was. Two fingers on this hole, matching through there, breaking the method again. Nobody has time for the Bruce headers in Dendi Beta. That was amazing. Two fingers just about holding on. And now she's got to keep going. Only 30 seconds left and still a sequence of moves ahead of her. I, Mori, appears to be aware. She is moving at pace right now, but still being precise, keeping those feet on the hold. One more move over the lip. Now we've got that swing, cutting loose. Foot out right. She's got 10 seconds left to find the top. Gets that crimp up under the volume. Six seconds, five seconds to find the clip. Can she? And she can find the clip. She puts Yanya Gambra out of first place. And I, Mori, now has really flipped the table on this competition. That she sped up there, that was incredible. How she just turned around. Uh, I was very nervous, but I think just enjoy. So. <laughs>